yes hello everyone welcome to the next affirmative video tutorial now for this episode i'm going to show you how to create a third um internet source with this um, edge um rotor x <clears throat> now at the moment it is actually working as a load balancer and a rotor of course um presently port zero and port one internet source so zero and one internet source now i'm gonna configure it so um ethernet so that the port two can also get internet into it <coughs> right so i'm gonna log into the router and show you how to configure it yes guys so we're now at the computer <coughs> so now i'm gonna log into the edge router right so now we are logged in right so present we are logged in now, as you can see down the bottom right there so we have um ethernet zero and ethernet one saying wan and wan2 so <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, configure it so we click on the wizard there load balancing as you can see first internet port that is the port zero second internet port that is um port one now when you look here you are seeing it is saying lan port two port three port four and port five so in terms of you getting internet from this um <coughs> ubiquity rotor then you can get it from this port and as you can see add additional internet port so by default <coughs> the edge rotors will actually give you two ports for you to load balance so you'd have to have the third one um, i'm not sure if it can go up to four um, i'm gonna have to do that experiment so let's go click on add additional internet port so as you can see we have zero one this so i'm gonna choose two yes <coughs> so all these settings let them remain now very importantly guys you need to reconfigure um the lan or the lan um, section here so you're going to click on configure this section as you can see the ip address would have changed <coughs> so this is so it this is a default ip address so i'm going to put in the ip address that i use my personal home network All right so put in the IP address there as for the username and password um, keep the existing one then I'm gonna click apply then apply changes this asks into reboot you're gonna choose reboot um, yes I am sure <coughs> right say it is now rebooting now I'm gonna go back to the router and actually just show you making that connection there yes guys so i'm actually back at the network board now as it is now as i said so just two internet connections so i'm gonna get a third one so at the moment internet is coming from this switch and the switch down the bottom so this one in the middle here this is we are gonna get some more internet so would have already cut this cable to length now i wanted to put the red cover protection there on both ends but actually forget to put it on that one but that's it for now <clears throat> so let's go and i plug plug in my ethernet cable there try to get these cables as neat as possible but i've just need some time to do some really proper cable management okay As you can see guys these two lights here flashing now short moment you should see a third one flashing there there we go all right so port two is now up so these three first three ports here supplying internet 
now we're gonna go back to the computer check it to see that yes actually works yes guys so we're back around the computer let's get it up and running all right so here we go so let's log in <coughs> Yes, yeah, so we are now in. Let's go to the dashboard and let's see. So as you can see, we have WAN, we have WAN2, and we have WAN3. <coughs> right, so definitely um, works. Um, connected is beside all three. Now um, at the moment, um, <coughs> I'm quite sure that if one goes down, then definitely the other two will be there in terms of um, backup. <coughs> so guys, uh, that's how you actually add a third internet source or internet supplier to your Edge Router X. Um, again, by default, um, only two, uh, only the first two ports, that would be um, port zero and port one. <coughs> And if you got to do load balancing, you'll have to go into it and click um, to add that third one. As I said, um, I personally believe that yes, you can go up to four, right? So I'm gonna do another video, me trying that um, experiment. So once again, guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please remember to click on the subscription button. Of course, leave your comments in the comment section of the video and share the video so once again guys um thanks for viewing family tech is out of here